Ever walked into a small workshop in Pakistan and been hit by a thick cloud of dust? You can almost taste it in the air. For so many hard-working artisans and small business owners, this is just a normal day at the office. Woodworking, metal grinding, textile manufacturing, they all create enormous amounts of dust. We all know, this isn't just messy. It's a serious health hazard for the workers who are the backbone of our local industries. On top of that, all that dust gets into machinery, causing it to break down faster and costing a fortune in repairs and downtime. Productivity drops and profits take a hit. So, what's the solution? Big, fancy industrial dust collectors. For most small Pakistani businesses, the price tag on those imported machines is just a dream. They can cost lakhs, sometimes even more. It feels like an impossible mountain to climb. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Protect your workers' health and your equipment, or just try to make ends meet. It seems like there's no affordable, practical choice. But what if I told you that's not true? What if there's a way to get the clean, breathable air and the efficient workspace you deserve without breaking the bank? Today, we're throwing out the idea that you need expensive imported gear. We're going to show you how to build your own powerful, effective industrial dust collection system using materials you can find right here in Pakistan. This isn't just a theory, it's a practical, step-by-step -step guide. We're taking on the challenge to prove that, with a little bit of ingenuity and local resources, any small business can create a safer, more productive environment. Imagine your workshop, free from the constant haze of dust. Imagine your workers breathing easier and your machines running smoothly. That's the future we're building today, and we're going to do it together. Let's start with the heart of any dust collection system, the cyclone separator. This is the clever part that does most of the heavy lifting. Instead of just sucking dust into a filter bag that clogs up in minutes, a cyclone uses physics to separate the heavy dust particles from the air. Think of it like a spinning vortex. The dusty air enters the cyclone, spins around at high speed, and the heavier dust and wood chips are thrown against the outside wall. Gravity then pulls them down into a collection bin at the bottom. Only the very finest dust particles continue on to the filter, which means your filter stays cleaner for much, much longer. This drastically improves suction and efficiency. So, how do we build one? You'll be surprised at how simple it is. The main body can be made from a large plastic drum, or even a sturdy metal barrel, which you can easily find at a local market. The key is creating the cone shape at the bottom. For this, we can use a sheet of galvanized metal. You'll need to cut it into a specific pattern, which we'll show you, and then bend it into a cone. You can rivet or weld the seam together. This cone is what funnels the collected dust down into your bin. We also need to create two ports on the cyclone. An inlet on the side, where the dusty air comes in, and an outlet on the top, where the cleaner air goes out to the motor and filter. We can use standard PVC pipes for this, which are cheap and available everywhere. A bit of silicone sealant will make sure all the joints are airtight, which is crucial for good suction. Now for the muscle of the operation. The blower or motor. You don't need a specialized, expensive unit. A high-powered shop vacuum motor can work for smaller setups. But for a truly industrial strength system, we can repurpose something you might find in a scrap market or a kabari bazaar, an old industrial fan or even the blower from a car as heating system. These things are built to move a lot of air. The key is to build a sturdy housing for it, maybe out of plywood or sheet metal, and connect it securely to the outlet of our cyclone separator. This motor will pull the air through the whole system, creating the suction we need to capture the dust right at the source. Of course, we still need a final filter to catch the really fine, dangerous dust that gets past the cyclone. Buying a specialized cartridge filter can be pricey, but we have a DIY solution for that too. We can create a large filter box, often called a plenum. Inside this box, we can arrange several automotive air filters in parallel. The ones used for cars and trucks are designed to filter out very fine particles and they're readily available and affordable. By using several of them, we increase the surface area, which means the airflow isn't restricted and the filters won't clog up as quickly. The plenum box itself can be built from plywood and it's important to seal it properly to prevent any leaks. This multi-filter setup is a game changer for getting clean air without the high cost. Okay, so we have our cyclone, our blower, and our filter bank. Now we need to connect everything. This is where the ducting comes in. 
You might think you need expensive, smooth-walled metal ducts, but for a budget-friendly system, flexible PVC or even reinforced drainage pipes can work surprisingly well, especially for the main lines. You can find these at any hardware or plumbing supply store in Pakistan. We'll run a main duct line around the workshop, and then branch off to each machine using smaller, more flexible hoses. To control which machine is being used, we'll install blast gates. These are simple sliding gates in the ductwork that you can open or close. This is incredibly important because it allows you to direct all the suction power of your system to the one machine you're recurrently using, making it far more effective than trying to pull dust from everywhere at once. You can make these blast gates yourself using plywood and some scrap metal. Let's put it all together now. The setup is logical. Your woodworking machine, let's say a table saw, has a dust port. A flexible hose connects this port to your ductwork system. You open the blast gate for the table saw. When you turn on your blower motor, it starts pulling air. Air is sucked from the table saw, carrying the sawdust with it. This dusty air travels through the ducting and into the side inlet of your DIY cyclone separator. Inside, the magic happens. The air spins and the heavy chips and sawdust fall down into your collection drum below. The air, now carrying only very fine dust, is pulled up through the top outlet of the cyclone, through the blower motor, and then pushed into your plenum box. The bank of car air filters inside the plenum captures this remaining fine dust, and what comes out the other side is clean, breathable air that's returned to your workshop. Imagine the difference. No more clouds of sawdust filling the room. The floor around your machines stays clean. You're not breathing in harmful particles all day long. Your collection drum at the bottom of the cyclone is easy to empty. You just detach it, dump the sawdust, and reattach it. Maybe you can even sell the clean sawdust for other uses. Your filters will only need cleaning or replacing occasionally, not every few hours. This system doesn't just clean the air, it boosts your productivity. Less time spent cleaning means more time spent working and making money. Your machines will last longer because they aren't clogged with dust. And most importantly, you and your employees are working in a safer, healthier environment. This isn't just a project, it's an investment in the health and future of your business. We've shown you the components and the concept. Building this system will take some time and effort. Yes, you'll need some basic tools. A drill, some tin snips, maybe a rivet gun. But the materials are all locally sourced and affordable. A metal drum, some sheet metal, PVC pipes, a repurposed motor, and some car air filters. The total cost will be a tiny fraction of what you'd pay for a commercial imported system. This is the essence of Pakistani ingenuity. Jugaad at its finest, but engineered to be effective and safe. You can customize this design to fit the exact size and layout of your workshop. Need more power? Use a stronger motor. Have more machines. Add more blast gates. The system is modular and scalable. So, I challenge you, don't accept that dust is just a part of the job. Don't believe that a safe workshop is a luxury you can't afford. Look at the resources around you. Take this design, adapt it, and build it. You have the power to transform your workspace, protect your health, increase your efficiency, and take your business to the next level. Let's start a revolution of clean air in small workshops all across Pakistan. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this guide has inspired you and given you the confidence to tackle your workshop as task problem head on. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more practical DIY solutions for small businesses. And if you decide to build your own dust collector, please share your progress and photos in the comments below. We'd love to see your creations. Stay safe, stay productive, and thanks for joining us.